Let's build a simple API backend that allows us to use the Palm API to generate text. And we're going to make this super easy using BuildShip, which makes building complex backends as easy as a few clicks. So here I am in my BuildShip project. You can see I've got a bunch of workflows. I'm going to go ahead and add a new one from our template set called Text Generation Palm API. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that's going to create pretty much the vast majority of our endpoint. And yes, this is going to be an endpoint using the REST API called Trigger. But we're going to tweak a few things to make this into our own and step through and take a look at what makes this workflow tick. So here's our trigger set. The path is set to Bison. Let's call this Generate Text. And our HTTP method is currently Get. Let's set this to be Post. Cool. Next, we've got our Palm API text generation node. You can see we've got a bunch of different inputs here. This is all going to plug into the Palm API. And what's really cool about this, you might be wondering, oh, I've tried the Palm API. I've had to set up a whole bunch of things here. BuildShip comes pre-configured, so all of you have to do is set up your project and be good to go. You don't need to worry about setting up IAM permissions, none of that. Just up and running with your very own project. So cool. Here's our prompt, which comes from our query prompt. You can see now that I've changed this to a post. You can see that this is a query parameter, but what we actually want this to be is a body parameter. So we're just going to replace that there. Now this will come from the JSON of our post request. Amazing. We've also got our model, which is using text bison and our different AI parameters so that we can tweak the accuracy and the flow of our text. Finally, we will have a return node, which will return an OK 200. And the value is going to come from that Palm API text generation and get all of our generated text from that output. And you can see this all came pre-configured. We can also tweak it a little bit. As you saw, I turned it into a post request. But let's go ahead and play with it. I'm going to go ahead and click on ship. And you're going to see just like that, it's going to be ready to go. Amazing. There's our workflow ready. We can go ahead and copy this endpoint URL and why don't you join me over in Postman and we'll try it out. So here we are in Postman. You can see that I've already set up the post request with the URL from BuildShip and our prompt, which is a poem about REST APIs. And check it out. Just like that, we now have a little, oh, actually, do you know what? Maybe not a poem. Let's go with a haiku. I like a haiku. Let's click on send again and see what we get. RESTful APIs make web development easier, a powerful tool. A powerful tool. Yep, that works. <laughs> so there you have it. That's how we can generate our text using BuildShip. And as you saw, we just needed to create our workflow and we were done. Let's hop over back to BuildShip for a second. Amazing. Now that we're back in BuildShip, let's try and imagine. How could we expand this? What we're offering here is pretty powerful. What if we only wanted to have certain users be able to do it? Say, for example, using Firebase token authentication, we can restrict access to users who have the authorization token set. Then we can add our project text generation. And in case you're wondering, how do I set up my Firebase project? Well, we actually give you one out of the box, but it is totally possible to wire up your BuildShip project with your existing Firebase account. Check out our documentation for more information. So that's it, folks. Go forth and make amazing stuff with BuildShip. There's so much more you can do. Stay tuned for the next video and see you next time.